Biohazard crews responded to a 911 call at the downtown Fort Wayne Post Office this afternoon, but leaders say the public has no need to worry. It was all part of an extensive drill. News Channel 15's Adam Widener was there, and he's live in Studio 15 tonight with the details. What if workers at the Fort Wayne Post Office found anthrax in a letter? It's a dangerous threat, and emergency crews say they need to be prepared. That's what they did today, trying to make it as lifelike as possible. To actually put this into place and to actually stage a scenario like this, it's unlike any other training we could get in a, in a classroom. A unique 911 call was sent out this afternoon. Anthrax in an envelope at the downtown Fort Wayne Post Office, but it was only a drill. Should we have to do it for real, we want to know that we can do it quickly and efficiently. Leaders say they chose anthrax because that's what their system can detect. Not to mention, unfortunately, since you know September 11, 2001, I think we as a society have been faced with, uh, you know, new dangers and new potentials out there. It was as much like the real deal as possible. Crews suited up in hazmat suits. More than 100 volunteers were treated as if they'd been exposed. They went through a detox shower first, then went to the health department to fill out forms and get antibiotics. We would uh, have them fill out some health history forms. We would determine which antibiotic prescribed to them, then we would dispense that medication to them along with instructions on what they need to do to take it. Leaders say the public has nothing to worry about. This is simply a way to be prepared. We can eliminate some of the fear and concern of the unknown by having these practices so that everyone is on the same page and we all know what our part will be and so we can all work smoothly together. Crews decontaminated 100 volunteers in an hour and a half. Evaluators will put together a report by June 5th to review what needs to be done. Live in Studio 15, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.